How's it going everybody? Welcome to Cub Vans Minecraft. Today we're taking a look at some of the changes in Snapshot 13W05A. So the first change this week is that we can now take full snow blocks and make uh, the snow the snow layers. And we can actually transform these layers into any one of eight possible uh, snow depths. So there's the first layer, put two on top of each other. There's the second layer, third layer, and then so on and so forth until you get to the uh, the eighth layer here, which is comparable to the normal snow block. And then you can keep on tacking on things after that. And it's pretty cool. It makes for some nice stairs, and it will make snow biomes a little bit more interesting if you uh, want to change around the snow depths. So that's pretty cool. We also have changes to bone meal. So let me just put down some seeds here. And bone meal last week was uh, severely nerfed in that it could only, uh, it would take seven bone meal to, to grow a one wheat crop. So now it takes between two and four to grow, uh, to grow wheat fully. So that one took two, two, three, three. That one took a little bit more and that one took two. Uh, and then trees also are a little bit, uh, take a little bit longer to grow with bone meal. And trees can sometimes take as many as eight bone meal to grow, so we'll see what we get here. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that took a while. One, two, three, four. So it does take a little bit longer for trees to grow than it did before. Three, four. But uh, yeah, that's kind of an interesting change. They made it random. The effect of bone meal is a little bit random now. So that's pretty neat. Okay everybody, and there are also some big changes to the scoreboard system this week. Uh, first off, there's a new objective called Hearts, which keeps track of your health. So say for instance, you wanted to uh, make a scoreboard, and you wanted keep track of your health so we'll just do scoreboard objectives add and then we'll call it hearts left let's say and then uh, you'll see the objectives here uh, most of these are the same but health is a new one and then hearts left so if we type this command here add a new objective hearts left and then we can keep track uh, of our of our hearts just by setting display and there's actually a new uh, display type called below name and if you're in multiplayer this will display like the number of hearts you have uh, below your name like a name tag that appears above you so that's pretty cool uh, but we're gonna do sidebar and we'll display hearts left in the sidebar so now if I get a zombie spawn egg and we will do game mode zero. Spawn them in. You'll see it keeps track of my uh, hearts left up there on the sidebar. So that's pretty cool. And also new this week is the ability to add teams. So if we just go into scoreboard, teams, uh, we'll add a team and we'll call it Team Mojang. So you see, add new team Mojang successfully. And then say we want to join this team, because right now, uh, basically, if we list the teams, you'll see Mojang has no players currently. So we just go to scoreboard, teams, join, and then Mojang. And I added myself to team Mojang. Okay, and there's also some options you can use uh, to distinguish your team from others. Uh, for example, you can turn friendly fire either to true or false if you want to be able to accidentally hit your friends or not who are on the same team. And you can also change the color of your name. Uh, so say I wanted to change my the color of my name on the right hand side to aqua. We could do that and uh, any other team members would have their names changed to that color as well. So that's very cool, and it's going to be a great way to uh, set up PvP maps in vanilla 
and also to keep track of scores on adventure maps. And finally this week guys, there have been some bug fixes. Uh, for instance, comparators no longer update dispensers like this. Uh, and they also fixed some stair lighting glitches, but the trampoline effect is still in the game, which is pretty cool. But I think that's going to be all for me today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Cup Fan. Goodbye.